Now children, the National Institute on Drug Abuse says every 15 minutes in the U.S. a baby is born suffering from opioid withdrawal. Thousands of children are living in foster homes and group homes because of abuse or neglect by their families. The United Hospital Fund Children's Health Initiative reports 8 million children across the country lived with at least one parent with a substance abuse disorder from 2009 to 2014. Channel 3's Lori Mitchell sheds light on some of the youngest victims. Because our mom always seen that what she was doing was wrong, but she never stopped it. She never tried until everything happened, and then you can't go back. This 16-year-old knows what it's like to grow up with a chaotic home life. To protect her privacy, we're calling her Rachel. She lived with both parents until her dad died when she was just seven. Rachel recalls the stress of having a mother who was a drug addict. Because she would take us out to get on the bus and then sometimes we'd get off and we'd have to wait at the bus stop for her because she didn't want us to walk. But it'd be like 30 minutes to 45 minutes before she even came. So our brother, my older brother, took on the role of just making sure we got home and everything. Rachel was removed from her home and went to live with her grandmother. She tried maintaining a relationship with her mom. She would call and say, hey, I'm going to pick you up for the day. And then we'd wait all day and she wouldn't come. And so the next day she would call and she would be like, I'm sorry I couldn't make it yesterday, but I'll do it today. And it was the same thing every day. Rachel was heartbroken again at age 15 when her grandmother died. She was shuffled to two more homes before coming to Bethel Bible Village, a place for families in crisis. Social worker Tricia Tatum helps Rachel and other girls work through their trauma. A lot of times they take on their own guilt of the situation. They may have not had anything to do with the situation, but they feel guilty because oh, my parents are gone, or my parents are struggling, or I'm a burden to these people who are taking me on. 62,000 children in Tennessee are living with grandparents or other family members. Nearly 40% of kids that Bethel serves are coming from relative caregiver situations, and the opioid epidemic is fueling some of that growth. Many times the grandparents have been the fun people in a child's life. And so then suddenly the children comes into their home and they have to become the disciplinarian and make them go to school and make them go to uh, do their homework and make them go to bed. And so the child, depending on the situation they've come out of, um, sometimes they're coming out of an abusive or a neglect situation and may have behavioral or emotional issues. And so they act out and then it becomes a struggle with the, between the grandparents and the, and the child. Bethel is an alternative to foster care and the goal is to reunite children with their biological parents or families. Rachel remains close with her siblings. Bethel has provided stability for her. She is very resilient. Um, she has a lot of strengths that she plays into. She's great at school. Um, she loves to care for people. She's really one of the stronger people in her family system, and she's really thrived at Bethel. She has a passion for helping others and wants to someday become a nurse. I can apply to scholarships because my grades are better. I can get into college. I don't have to worry about all the bills to pay for college because I can, I can earn a way now. Rachel's circumstances have given her strength, and she is giving others hope. And we have